Rachel, thank you for being here. If you could tell us how the project came to life. Uh, so I read about Nikos Pinsi, the company, uh, online. And I was so... Uh, I read about Nikos Sponsi at the company online and I was very excited and I just called artistic director Stephanie and I asked if I could follow a creation of a new play, a production um, and uh, it was just uh, interesting for me to meet uh, both disabled and non-disabled actors together preparing for a new performance and I knew that for many of them it was uh, first performance after a long break so I thought there could be a story there and I was excited to meet all this. And uh, Rachel, how was it for you? Or what acting experience did you have before and how was it for you to work with Victor? It was a really cool process. Um, before I lost my leg, I was uh, performing a lot regionally in theater companies and off-Broadway. And then after my accident, um, I kind of had to rethink my career plan. And um, I met Victor, I think it was just about a year after I lost my leg, and I was just starting to uh, audition again and move to New York City. And um, finally, uh, I, you know, agreed to do the documentary and, and then I decided to have another surgery so it was like another setback um, but luckily he caught me after the second surgery and I was you know starting to really get back into auditions and everything um, so it was really cool to be part of the documentary um, especially at that time in my life um, it was very nice to meet Victor and meet the other actors with disabilities I thought it was uh, very powerful what you said previously in, uh, in the Q&A that disabled people are just people. I mean, uh, everyone has difficulties and you do not want to be either glorified or marginalized. So um, um, yes, if you can like um, articulate yeah, that I mean, further. I'm, I'm so glad um, that it resonated with you because I think that disabled people are often looked at as you know, inspirations. And we are so much more than that. Um, we are real people chasing after real dreams. And um, I, I think that, you know, living now with a disability, I, I've come to realize that um, disabled people are so underrepresented in media. Um, and I think it, that it's great that Victor's film highlights, you know, we may be actors with disabilities, but mainly we are actors who happen to have disabilities. So that was what you were trying to portray, Victor? Um, well, maybe at first I also th thought that might be an inspirational kind of story, but then I really, throughout the whole process, I changed my mind. Because I was, uh, I think that uh, everyone who has any type of difference uh, has to struggle. And it's the problem is uh, not in our physical limitations or any other but in the mindset and so how you actually connect your true self and resolve your problems and overcome your fears I think that's what the story is now about. So what does it mean to the two of you to have two and twenty troubles here at the Socially Relevant Film Festival in New York? Uh, well first of all I'm very excited because it's my premiere uh, of the film and um, it was so important for me because I worked uh, for about a year and a half editing and promoting and it was my also my thesis project. So for me it's a great start to be a social film festival. Really great film. And Rachel? I think it's fantastic that uh, we're screening here because it is so socially relevant. Um, and I think, you know, it's it's great to have a premiere in New York City because um, New York is like the melting pot of the world and we have all, you know, all different minorities um, and disabled people are part of that minority and a lot of times we're forgotten about and we're 20% of the population in America. So I think it's a really fantastic venue for screening this film. Well, we're very, very happy to have you here. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah.